Okay, welcome back. This is part 13 of my how to build how to build a community site tutorial series. And in part 12, we finished up our user registration. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to do our email activation, activation registration. So many Asian. Ha 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 ha. Yes, I know I'm sad. Uh, <laughs> uh, so right now, I just have uh, the simple page we start out with. It's essentially this index page, removing the uh, things and changing the title. So yeah, so inside of here, um, and this I still have the uh, activate page, uh, the page not found one, open. So the very first thing we want to do on our activate page is we want to get our code. So I'm gonna say get um, code equals dollar sign underscore get, and get is in all caps, and then we have it like that. And inside of here we say code. So we the first thing we have to do is we have to get the code. Now, um, the next thing we want to do is I'm going to say if, and I'm just going to throw in my uh, structure. Um, there we go. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is um, just put in this blank structure here. Um, eh, yeah, well, okay. So I'm gonna create there. I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna create a form variable and say set it equal to, and it's gonna be a form is action equals um, activate.php. There we go. Activate.php, and then I totally forgot my single quotes on that. Uh, the method is going to be post, and I'm gonna end the form. So, I'm going to go ahead and throw in a table, end the table, I'm going to say tr, tr, whoops, td, td, alright, so we have that. Now, this fir the first text here I'm going to say is I'm going to say activate code colon, and then here I'm going to put input type equals uh, text name equals code, uh, and I'm going to say value equals, and this is going to be our get code value. So if the user has passed along this get value right here, which is that's what that is, if the user has passed that along, that means we are going to display it inside of this text box. So pretty simple. Um, and right here we're going to say username. And that's going to have a value of nothing. And a name of user. Uh, and a name of username. And we're also going to have password with a type of password. And a name of password. So we just need one more, which is going to be our submit button. So type equals submit, name equals submit button, and a value of uh, activate, I guess. Okay, so we have our basic form. Um, now what we want to do is we want to make sure that our button has been clicked. So I'm just going to throw in this structure back, which I didn't necessarily have to get rid of it in the first place, but oh well. So we're gonna say if dollar sign underscore post, and then inside of here we have our submit button. It's just like a register page. It's I think like literally the exact same code. Um. So inside of here, we want to get our code, our username, and our password. So we're going to say code equals dollar sign underscore post, and then just like that, code, I think that's what it's called, yeah. And I'm also going to throw in the strip underscore tags function, uh, just to be on the safe side. Um, so, I'm going to paste that. We have our username and password. I'm going to store the username in a username variable, and the password in a password variable. So 
pretty simple. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to make it so all of those have to be required. So, blah, blah, blah. Okay, uh, you did not fill in the entire form. There's no you in entire. Okay, so inside of here, it's pretty much just like before. We're making it so these uh, values have to be there. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and then we want to say and um, dollar sign password. So, we've made sure that our username, our password, and our code have been entered in our boxes. Um, now what we want to do is we want to make sure that our code is 25 characters or whatever uh, length you decided it to be. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna say if dollar sign or no uh, str len and then parentheses and then inside of here we have code if str len equals equals 25. Now this 25 is the length of your um, the length of your activate code, which for me is 25 characters. So I'm setting that to 25. Um, and the, inside of this echo, I'm going to say you have not supplied a valid code. I don't know. Something simple. Uh, you have not supplied a valid code. So if the length of the code is 25 characters, we want to connect to our database and uh, make sure that our username and our password match. So I'm going to require my connect file. So that is in my scripts forward slash connect.php. So that's the location of the file. Let's move my chair. Um, so now what we want to do is we want to create our query. So query equals um, mysql underscore query so we want to say select all from uh, select all from users where username equals dollar sign username <coughs> and we want to say uh, password equals and this is going to be dollar sign pass so above our require right here, we're going to encrypt our password because it has to be encrypted in order for it to work. Now, if you're like me and you're using the double MD5 encryption, then you want to paste it like that. And then inside of here, you put your password variable. I should say dollar sign password. So we want to come down here, say numrows. The reason I'm not really explaining this right now is because I explained it earlier. Um, in the registration process. Um, so, yeah. So, we want to say if, oops, we want to say if dollar sign num rows equals equals one. So, what we're doing now is we're encrypting our password, and I'm using double MD5 encryption for extra strength. We're connecting to our database, and we're running a query, and our query is spelled wrong. Select. Um, and our query is uh, finding our username and our password in our database to make sure that they match. And if they do match, this numrows function is going to return a 1. And if they don't match, it's going to return a 0. So if they don't match, um, we're going to say your login, your, uh, we'll say your username and password are invalid. There we go. So your username and password are invalid. But if this returns a 1, that means that the username and password um, 